Have you ever wondered about making your very own finger puppet theater? You can buy fancy ones online or in stores, but it's really super easy and I think more fun to make your own. And here's a, some directions for making a theater from a simple cardboard box. First, you find a box that's just the right size. If you're using finger puppets, you don't need a very big box. If you're using larger full body puppets, then you'd probably want to find something a little bigger. But here's a picture of the box that I chose and I turned it upside down so that the open part of the box was dent on the bottom. Then I used a box cutter and scissors to cut off a section on the back of the bottom of the box, and you would want to ask a grown up to help you with this part. In the next picture, you can see I turned it around, and up at the top on that other side, on the opposite side, I drew a rectangle and then cut out the rectangle. And I really did need a box cutter for this part, so that's definitely a grown up tool, and you'd want to ask for help with that. So there's my box with the window cut out and you can see I have lots of different pictures that I cut out from magazines and old calendars and I cut them out and arranged them just to get ready to think about how I wanted to put them on my box. You could always wrap your box in wrapping paper. You could wrap it in just plain brown wrapping paper like you use to mail a package. You could paint it. You could decorate it with, with markers or crayons. You could glue on pictures that you drew or construction paper. There's really no rules about it. And you could do it any way you wanted. But for me, as you see in this next picture, I arranged the pictures that I had cut out and glued them onto the box so that all sides of the box were covered with decorations. Even the top has an owl in a tree. Then I used something called Mod Podge, M-O-D-P-O-D-G-E. And I happen to have that here because I really like making collages. But if you don't have that, you could just use some white glue mixed with a little bit of water to thin it down just a tad, and then a paintbrush and I just painted the entire outside of the box with that sticky glue and let it dry for a while. It really doesn't take very long. And then it makes the surface a little bit shinier and a little stronger, a little sturdier. And so here's a picture of my final box theater with some finger puppets that I made. And those finger puppets are super easy to make. I simply cut out images that I had printed off the computer, but again, you could cut them from magazines, you could draw them, you could cut them out of a coloring book. And then I took a little strip of paper and attached it to the back so I had something to stick my finger up through. And that's how I made my finger puppets. So have a lot of fun playing with your new finger puppet theater, telling stories, singing songs, sharing rhymes, you can put on a show for your whole family. Have fun.